Howdy guys, in today's video on TrueCut already works, we're going to be looking at the cut-in feature, or should I say the cut-in for the cut-in and out feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we head back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder first that this is a mini series on the cut in and cut out feature. And uh, I'll also be leaving relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, when it comes to the actual cut in um, itself, so not the cut out, uh, to set that, we want to obviously make sure our shape is selected that we want to set it for. And then we can either like I mentioned before, go on top here or under edit and cut, edit cutting properties or open our view cutting cut in bar. I'm just going to use the simple one for this video tutorial for now. So I'm going to click that icon and then we're met by the cut in and out settings. Now under the first dialog box here, we've got cut in as you can see and then enable. So if I enable this, then it has now just enabled our actual um, uh, cut in feature. If I had to click OK here and zoom in, you will notice we've got a tiny little cut in line coming in from there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that was the point we set as our starting point. So now if I go back here, so the first one we can set here, as you can see, is the length and it is in millimeters. So I'm going to make this about a hundred just so you guys can see it better. Obviously, I would not do it that long in a real cut. And then as we can see there, we've got the cutting line and it shows also the line or the direction the line is going to be going at. And the nice thing is if I click off here, it shows us this in red. So um, we can carry on with that design and still see where it's going to be cutting in from. So we know. Uh, in a future video, I'll also show how to bring it from the inside of a shape. But for now, we're only going to be working on the outside of it. So now if I go back to the feature, next thing we have here is the angle. It works with degrees and uh, this will be from 0 to 180. So even though we set the direction before of a cut going clockwise, we can also set this thing all the way to the right. Um, so you can come in and then cut this way, but I personally think that will be a bit messy. So if we look, so if we go 0 here, you'll see it comes in far from the left. And then if we go back to the feature, we'll make this 180. Say OK, you'll see it comes in from the right. Now I'm just going to set it back to 45 so we can uh, have a better view of it. And then next up here, we've got the line type. Now the line types, obviously, we've got straight and then we've got arc. So if you're working with something like this, a circle or something, I might recommend you set it to arc. So then if we click in, you can see it creates a flowing line. So we'll go flow into the line and carry on. Now, uh, that does not mean you have to use an arc. You can use straight as well. And then we've got from center, that will basically um, cut in by uh, making it, it will start by the starting point. We'll cut in from the center of the starting point. Uh, I honestly don't play with that much because um, uh, I haven't really figured out how this properly works yet. I tried to look online a bit, can't find much, because if I enable this, the um, okay, we set it to line, everything looks the same. So we'll definitely have to do some test cuts to see if any of you know what this does, please feel free to leave a comment in the description so we can um, inform the rest. But otherwise, yeah, that is it on the cut in and cut out. A rather simple. We have those uh, three or actually four values to set. And then uh, you have your cut in set. But otherwise, before we go to the cut out, if we head to the website softwaretraining.co.za, you will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to cover. And you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form. Then we will do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.